Dozens of officers swarmed Ladora Way in Hazelwood this morning when they found out Holt was hiding inside a house there. Neighbors watched it all go down. Lynn Hayes Freeland spoke with some of them, and she's live with that part of our coverage. Lynn. Susan, Ladora Way is actually a very small street in Hazelwood. Now, I've been here most of the day, and there are very few cars on this street, either people who live here or curiosity seekers. So on the surface, it might appear to be a great place to hide, but for Ramel Holt, it was a great place to get caught. There really aren't that many houses on Ladora Way in Hazelwood, but Tuesday morning, all eyes were here on the house at 5005. Authorities had developed information that 29-year-old Ramel Holt, suspected of killing New Kensington police officer Brian Shaw, was hiding out here. When I come out and I seen all this, I knew it had to be him. But I mean, like, what's he doing here? Yeah. You know, I was like shocked that he was in Hazelwood. Christina Jackson was watching from across the street when she saw Holt and his cousin, Latif Mason, being led out of the house. I seen him and another guy come out with no incident, hands up like they were told, and that was it. Then they start storming the house and seeing... I guess sending cops in to see if anybody else was in there. Mike Hillebrecht wasn't going to take any chances. When he realized they were looking for a suspected cop killer, he wanted to protect his home and his wife. I went and got the guns, threw one in a couch, gave one to the wife. You know, since anybody comes through that back door, don't ask no questions. Just empty the gun. At the time of the arrest, reward money had grown to over $50,000. Why didn't I catch this guy? I, you know, the, he, he was all over the TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you could uh, spot him in a minute, you know, but I never saw him before. Now, police spent most of the afternoon going through this house at 5005 Ladora Way looking for other evidence. They locked it up, then they left the scene. As it got dark out here tonight, we saw that a living room light was on, which makes the whole house look just a little eerie. Reporting live in Hazelwood, I'm Lynn Hayes Freeland, KDKA TV News.